All right. Ready. We all good? Yep. yep. All right, so we can start in three, two, one, go. All right, good luck. And Here we go. we're off. Good luck. So welcome Ooh. to our summer mid sack. Yep. <laughs> Um, all, all of us were um, really, really new creators, I would say. Um, yeah, so yeah. essentially, Xenon was the experienced one who like gathered a bunch of us and said, I'm going to teach you guys all how to make a ROM hack, and we were like, okay. And uh, Okami, Dak, me, and Hala, and Jim B learned the whole process from A to Z. From A to Z. And <laughs> A to Z. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We, uh... We learned a lot, and Xenon was kind of like, since he was the only experienced one, he was kind of like our mentor for all of it, which meant his attention was split a lot. <laughs> so um, sometimes we would go out of our way to ask like ROM hacking discords instead if we had like a super technical question, and everyone was always super helpful. So shout out to you guys for being super nice to newcomers. Yeah, everyone was really. Uh cooperative and collaborative like um like even though we were all new everyone pitched in stuff like Dak for example helped me a lot with the the general artwork well not the artwork well basically like the lighting and everything for example in my level oh by the way this is my level um <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say are we, you want to talk about your level <laughs> yeah okay so okay um to anyone who's had the honor or um Unfortunate, um, well, anyone who's playing my level, I, I would like to issue a public apology for the text box it is. Um, so you see, initially when we started this project, actually, okay, initially, initially, it was just me who, like, bothered Xeon, I was like, how do you make a ROM hack, and he's like, I'll show you stuff, and then, like, I started putting this thing together, and then the summer project came along, and then we are like, let's make this into a thing, and I thought that this... ROM hack would only be seen by people like Sean Raider, who would understand Vicky Beams. <laughs> and so, oh, no, no, no. That... seen by everybody. <laughs> but that's Dude. nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, I think I think I saw, like, uh, who, who, who is it? Um, yeah, I think Kaze watched someone nice. play through it, and Kaze was just like, I, I hate this. <laughs> I think Astaroth was playing it. <laughs> Astaroth was like, wait. My baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really cool seeing everyone react to Vicky's well, text. So it's been really cool seeing people uh, actually understand it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's not that. That's not that easy to do, obviously. Yeah, no, you need to it's teach very. Nobody. It's a feat. It's only a select few people who have been trained, um, who who properly speak the language of Nivik, who who understand it. Otherwise, I'm really I'm really sorry that you have to that you have to that you have to see this. And also, luckily, this is a speed run, so we're kind of skipping through the text boxes. Oh, shiny fishy, my baby! Hello. <laughs> Hi, Sean! See? Sean understands the <laughs> Okay, I did I have not been reading chat. Hi, hi everyone. Hi Sean. Hi Des. Well, when in doubt, that. just add lay in front of everything and you'll <laughs> no, be no, fine. No, 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 no. Not lay. Lay. <laughs> lay. My bad. Lay. I'm still learning. <laughs> Sean, what are you doing? What is going on? <laughs> Anyway, very update with the runners looks like Okami's. I'm glad you got it. Vicky's level. Yeah. Oh. Okami's um, going into like GMD's did, level. Actually. And now we get my garbage garage. <laughs> which garbage. Was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, there's, and there's literal trash in it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to point that out. My my garage is fine, thank you. I, yeah. I do not actually currently have a garage, unfortunately, but we can roll with that. <laughs> so you kind of, you made one in SM64 to compensate. I kind of mauled it after my parents' garage a little bit, just my parents' house in general. Thought it was a good reference point. It was kind of a little thing that I wanted to do to sort of, you know, That's get a lot better at modeling some more complex shapes rather than just squares and hexagons and stuff. I mean, GMD64 was in a very, what do you call it, hexagon, no, not hexagon, polygon, polygon, polygonal, polygonal, 
It was very polygonal. (laughs) Polygamous. Oh no. No, it was not polygamous. We don't have to worry about my hack getting with a bunch of other hacks. And, oh. uh, we don't have to. Anyway. Silly with other unfortunate. Hacks. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Xenon helped me out with a lot of the stuff in this level because I was a little pressed for time and had a lot of other stuff going on. So he was the one that basically made it work and helped <laughs> me fix up a bunch of stuff. But it turned out great. We got the Home Depot thing, so <laughs> it really, uh, that really brought it all together. I didn't know that Home Depot had a sure. career until this realm had Sure. <laughs> <laughs> As someone who's seen plenty of Home Depot commercials, it's oh, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so you're very experienced, I can tell. Obviously. I love the Home Depot. When's our sponsorship? Hopefully soon. Uh, you need to respond to my emails first. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll get back to you eventually. Yeah, okay, see. I think it seems as though Xenon is just a little tiny bit ahead so far by one star. Okay, I'm actually paying attention to the gameplay now. <laughs> I think Okami's ahead, actually. Okami's, so. yeah, Okami's oh, a little bit ahead, oh, which, oh, honestly, you guys are going for Okami's like routes. a powerhouse, so... Xenon, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that they both, like, uh, have their own routes for... Well, yeah, for the route. <laughs> yeah, a lot of our a lot of our strats differ. Um, we haven't really watched each other's runs too much, but I guess we've, like, tweaked very, very minor things here and there because of things, but... Yeah. Yeah, generally speaking, we, like... To our own sort of but yeah, you guys both have like pretty similar times in the end, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can I get the star? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Okay. Oh, the chimney. <laughs> oh no. There you go. Is my stream? I think we're good. Ooh. And one more. Yeah. Oh no. Who is that? We have to fall for. Oh, there you go. Tommy's got a fast one. There you go. Now, officially, Tommy is ahead. Jamie, do you have a starshade tree in your parents' garage? Someone. Uh, I did at oh. one point, and then they cut it down. Okay, um, so this level was designed by our friend Hala Pinecone, who unfortunately is not able to join us tonight, but basically this level is a meme about a Sean Rayer yeah. named Tabby's Torm. This level, <laughs> this level is going to be really hard to explain, so I don't think we really need to, but uh, it it's all kind of like inside stuff about... Someone you may or might know if you frequent uh, Cheese's stream. Oh, his, yes. his name is Tabby Storm, and there's it's just a lot. But this entire level is based off of him, and honestly, it kind of showed that this is kind of unrelated to that. But this level really showed me that Hala has a knack for creating um, level design for Mario 64 levels. Because, like, it was his first time, and he was kind of focusing on multiple things, like trying to keep the poly count down, because he wanted to make his level specifically uh, console compatible. And he still, like, nailed it. People often say that they find this one to be the most enjoyable to play and everything. So, honestly, good on him for that one. kind of has its own little story within the story here. <laughs> also cat jam. <laughs> <laughs> I promised myself I would say that for Xenon. <laughs> yeah, that always says that when I get to the jail level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the jails. <laughs> By the way, on Okami's screen, that's Tabby. Yeah. Yeah. That's Tabby, just gave us a star. Yep, the one It's cool. I guess it's on Tabby on both streams right now. 
Well, Xenon went for the bomb clip. Than Did he get cannon. it? He got the bomb. Oh, good. He kept uh, he kept practicing that, and he he was unsure if he was gonna get it. And he under the pressure, he came through. I'm proud of you, Zeno. Nice. <laughs> Too much explaining to be done, but yeah, so much lore. The light version of what upwards is? Upwards is flippers or moving TTC. Moving TTC, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tabby decided to call it upwards, and ever since he's been baptized, he got it upwards. Basically, that's the gist of it. But yeah. Because he's really good at flippers. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then. This, uh, this star. Oh, so. Um, oh, this star. Mr. All right. Sean Raider. The one's just like, uh, oh. <laughs> that is yeah, so this so star. Oh, it's Sean. Sean Raider. This oh. is the Sean Raider fight. This is probably the hardest star in the entire hack. <laughs> because According to Tappy. Uh, yes, according to Tappy, of course. Well, obviously it's all me, but yeah. Sean Raider is the biggest... Fuck you, Sean! Yes, that's right! <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, of course, Sean Raider is the bully in the world. You have to shove him down an elevator shaft. Yes! Why not? Well, yeah. it's part of the lore, but... There's just too much Tappy lore, I guess. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Are you heading for it, Xenon? Yep. Good. So far, we're one In the speedrun, they make really quick bones. work of it, but usually it's like 20% oh, we'll of the hack's playtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hard part is if you actually do end up getting hit by the arrows, you get launched into the sky. Yeah. And I mean <laughs> launched. <laughs> It's hard to understate how much you get launched. But he didn't. Okay. Let's go. I think that Hala's level and Dax's level are the only two levels in our long hike that have coming stars, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okami, I saw that. I saw that BLJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it for A little bit sneaky. For some Gotta get that swag second save. <laughs> yeah. Actually, one of our uh, Dazrin's friends uh, is in, I believe, in the chat still. Um, Waterburn, I think? Or Pony, I don't know those guys. Okay, but that's right. Hull Hull's level and my level actually had a lot of overlap now that I'm thinking about it. I was gonna expand on that, but we haven't gotten to my level yet, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna just you know leave it at that and just go sign like, <laughs> That's it, yeah. I thought so too. This just say There's anything. a lot of parallels between our levels. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually kind of cool during the development of this. It was cool having a team because everyone kind of affected each other's levels in interesting ways. Like, I drew the eyes for Tabby in this level, and I also helped Hala design the temple. So, like, that was that. And then, um, I think Okami... Yeah, Okami significantly... Uh, altered the layout of my level because he said I should use the camera that's like octagonal and so I had to change all my geometry to be at 45 degree angles so that lined up with the camera but after I did it, it was great so you know it was cool having multiple people to bounce ideas off of. True, true. <laughs> Right, here we are. Here we are on Okami Street. You have Art Dax level. Yeah, this is my level. It's so good. Um, the texturing is the, so good. The, so the idea of my level was that I wanted to give, like, create something that 
could work in the Mario universe and maybe like work in vanilla. So it's a uh, a sanctuary for sandbirds where they have they hatch their eggs on plateaus and then the balams have to you know hatch them and you know hilarity ensues. Tabby's here. Tabby's here. There's Tabby. There he is. Tabby, you're. I think. Oh, uh, Zuna's finishing the your level right now, Tabby. Well, the level about you. <laughs> just missed it. Oh man. Yeah. Just a split second. You just missed the Valley of the Winter Runner. Oh well. Okay, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard level to get to. So, but yeah, when I was talking about, or like, overlap between Nine and Hala's level, you can see that you unlocked the wing cap in my level, and Hala decided, like, near the end to add wing cap boxes for fun in his level, so that you, once you beat mine, you could go back to his and, like, find some secrets. There's some secrets that you can only get to if you have the wing cap and stuff like that. So it's kind of neat. We had a couple, uh, inter-level things like that. Or fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Also, Dax level has a lot of like really cute story progression. So if you're not speedrunning it and actually playing it for real, it's really cute. You should... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I I think I I took up half. Like, <laughs> if you've never made a ROM hack before, half there's like a list of all of the text boxes in the game, and you can just swap out like the slots and stuff. And I think I took up half <laughs> of the slots. Yeah. Available from a hundred to a hundred and sixty something to make situational dialogue depending on like where you are in the progression. So after every star, at least one Bob Bomb's dialogue changes, and like if you go back to a place you're not supposed to be, they might like say something about it, which is pretty neat. Some of the things that uh, you don't really see in speedruns. I do highly recommend playing this hack, not just because I made it or helped make it, but uh, it's a good hack. Everyone here did a really good job with their levels, and I'm proud of how everything turned out. So that everyone's gonna have to actually read my text boxes, which may not be. You guys should go read uh, Dax's text boxes, not mine. <laughs> you should probably read Vicky's text boxes. <laughs> it's an experience that you don't really get anywhere else. It's true. <laughs> true. But please, disclaimer, I'm a normal human being. <laughs> oh, oh no. Well <laughs> Ignore <that>. This retexture of <laughs> iRock was probably the it took the longest out of anything else because you irox textures like you have to hex edit you have to like rip the textures out and then recolor them and then put them back in and it like took me a day to do but it's worth it he's blue now look at that he is blue Ooh. <laughs> Rodu approves all of the texturing in your level is so well done I'm really happy with the I Rock room. The I Rock room is probably the, one of the prettiest rooms I've ever made. Everything so that the lighting or like that the lighting and shading works out really nicely as well. As seen on Tadas. <laughs> There's also a secret room in this ROM hack or in this level in my level that you're not gonna see and you probably won't find, but. I'll give you a secret hint, uh, a uh, WSRM exclusive hint. If you beat my level without ever pressing the wing cap switch, then it'll tell you where the room is. So do that. Looking for a little word to the text boxes. No! <laughs> See, Tabby knows how to speak to the Mickey a bit. <laughs> oh, man. 
Kakami, what uh, star do you do 100 coins on for this one? Uh, I do it with star 2, which is Iron Rock. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. I guess since you have to go in there anyway. Oh no, come back! Not the wing cap. <gasps> oh, oh! That was a silly. <laughs> oh, golly, no. I, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if Zemon takes the opportunity. That, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but... Run, Z, not run. <laughs> I think it might still be the lead. I have to get a backup coin here. Able to, to speed run, speed run the but now it looks like Xenon's actually going to be the first one to uh, experience the sandbird here, but just barely. Probably the most uh, forgiving iteration of the sandbird possible. Yeah, the physics kind of work in this one. They kind of work, and if you fall, it just drops you right outside the egg, and all your red coins are still collected, so you can just jump back in. <laughs> I kind of wanted this to be like a celebratory star more than like an annoying challenge, so it's just super easy. Looks like we're actually going to be neck and neck running out of here. Oh, we good. Uh, wow, we're entering trick. at the same time. I'm not doing the trick. Alright, well. I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. Xenon's still oh. doing it. Because oh. he's a Chad. Let's see. Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, this is my oh. level. <laughs> just like... Quite a while ago. I just ported it with the... Uh, new target physics. Oh, it's so close! You made it! Xenon! Yeah! Oh my god! Let's goodness. go! <laughs> Xenon's made it! Xenon is in the lead. Alright, entering. Well, it's going to come down to the wire. It's coming down to my level. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, so anybody who's not familiar with this, um, this is Halo music, followed by Toho music. There's oh, bad apple. That's true, there is that. When in doubt, Toho music is usually a reasonable choice. Let's go. This is scary. I'm, I'm sweating and I'm not even playing. <laughs> oh, man. This is close. Oh, okay. Pay for the whole hack, but you only need the edge. Mm. Here's Bowser. Alright. Xenon is in. Into the Bowser fight. This Bowser only needs one throw, because we hate throws. <laughs> oh, yeah. We weren't happy with the throws. I shouldn't say that like I was I was in the design room for this Bowser fight. This was pretty much entirely Xenon and Okami? Okami AGF? What's up? Do you have input on this Bowser fight? Uh I was the design choice, was not the coding. <laughs> I see. Sure. I fell off! Oh no! Oh! Pass! Oh, oh, oh no! Got a bad egg. Pass him, pass him. Oh, that's rough. Oh. Oh no. Well, coming up on time. There we go. Well, that's it. Well, well, well. GG. We got Okami in. And. Time. Okami time. gets it! <laughs> For Mr. Okami. No. Thank you so much for playing my game. Did yeah. you fall off to the wind? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. so that... That is, yeah, that's... That's something that we... You know... What, was it the designer's choice, or...? Uh, it's... it's 
a coding thing. Like, he... so it's Xenon's fault. No. <laughs> yeah, Xenon coded that in without us knowing, and then like, Xenon, come on. Man. And now he lives. Uh, yeah, the second and he's punished for it. Any, any, like times after that, he like won't won't knock you very far. I think it would have rarely been like just after PV. So. Yeah, good. cool. So, yeah, that was a great run by both. Yeah, to both I, would, of you. I would like to point out that the Mario that's in that car was created by none other than Tabby Storm in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Tabby. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching to our hack. Or how, how does he say it? <laughs> thank you so much for to watching our hack. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you so much for to watching our hack. <laughs> So much afford to watching our hack. There yes, you go. there you go. That's the best <laughs> tradition. Aww. Aww. Oh, well, it was really nice seeing a whole bunch of you guys in here. And um, thank you for all of those who um, have never seen this hack before for joining us and looking at what we've created over the summer. And we hope you guys like it. And hopefully, you guys get to also play it not as a speedrun and see like some of the cute little secrets hidden in the, the little gems hidden within it. But yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. All right. See you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. <laughs>